The United States heavyweight champion getting pulled out by his legs, Daddy, with his 19 stitches in your head. 19 stitches in your head. What I gotta say is, I gotta say thank you for everybody back here, and thank you at home, because I told you we're gonna do it, and there's one thing to spread of, and it's us, and we did it. Okay, Kevin, good luck. Kevin Sullivan teaming up with Barry Orton. Barry's from Tampa, Florida. And they're going to take on the World Tag Team Champions, the Von Steigers, who will be out here in a second curtain call. Combined weight of 485 pounds. Here they come. That's Kurt getting up there first. A little heavier set than Carl. Not too much difference. His brother, Carl, probably a little taller. There we go. There's the bell. Kevin Sullivan. And it's going to be Kurt Von Steiger starting it off. Hey, you know, that referee's old. Teaming up with Barry Orton. By Barry. Naming by Kevin. Kurt Clanton, he pulled his beard. No truth to that, of course. Half a slide by Kevin Sullivan. Here comes Barry Orton taking over that top first lock. Now Sullivan taking over on Oh, Von Steiger right by and Sullivan back. He heads for Brother Carl. The Susan German tag team. They are the world champions. Going all out, they'd love to 
collect that bounty. Bob Roof has put on Kevin Sullivan. If we check him for a choke, it's not. Kevin reaching around. Chin lock. That doesn't work. Cal now in Kevin's number one. Gets over. Here comes Barry Orton. Young Barry Orton. Kurt. A chokehold in there. One, 
Another one trying to pin him. Kurt choking him, getting that shoulder up. Sullivan and Kurt Von Steiger. Now Kurt forces him over there and he tags Barry Orton. Here comes Orton, smashing there on Kurt. Another one. Now screaming, get him, Barry. Watch out. Brothers made a tag, I don't think, think. Barry even saw it. Here comes Carl with a sack here on Orton. He heads right for Sullivan. Here comes Kevin. Irish Kevin Sullivan. And now Carl and Kurt talking it over. A little discussion of strategy here. Now that referee's old. And Kurt makes the tag. Carl's going to hang on to Sullivan. And here comes Kurt. Another smash in there by Kurt. Another smash in there. Whoa, this one. Oh, man. Have a comic drop. Picks up Carl. moments in professional wrestling. Now, I know a lot of people out there are probably thinking that I bought Barry Orton. That's not true. This, this has been planned all along. Barry Orton came here for a specific purpose. He's a bounty hunter. He's always been a bounty hunter. But we warned you with McGinnis, and we warned you with the Von Steigers, and we warned you with, with Charisma, and they couldn't get the job done. So we did it a different way. And poor Barry Orton, as I'm afraid, he earned his $5,000. I got his check for him right here. But he earned us well, because blood, blood money. Five or six weeks, he had to hang, hang around with this roof raft and pretend to be his friend. So he earned his $5,000. And I'm just glad at long last that this man has not had to sit back and pretend to be a mealy mouth, low class, like Kevin Sullivan. At last, he's able to show his championship form. His Barry, true colors, you mean. Barry, you earned the $5,000. I just wish that it was more because you had to put up with this riffraff for five weeks. So I want to say thank you very much. You did the job, my brother, just like we planned. Just like I told you I was going to do. I hope you enjoy your blood money. The referee's right there. There, this is disgraceful. My years of wrestling, I've never seen anything like this. That's right. You've never seen anything like this. I think that we can safely say that my problems with Kevin Sullivan are over. He was out here bragging about about the 19 stitches. I can sit here and brag. His career is finished. And you have. That's and a, you have a bright new star, Barry Orton. Terrible, bright new star. We're going places together. You're going places. I'm not going to say where on TV. Let's go to Miss Wrestling. She'll give the star to the Tigers. The winner's on over Sullivan and Orton on a disqualification. The calling for a stretcher here. We'll have a report on Kevin, Kevin Sullivan hopefully later. But right now, uh, uh, hey, we'll take a timeout. Champions champions, Kurt and Carl Von Steiger, who next Saturday, a week from the night, November the 12th, put their title on the line against Ray Stevens and his surprise partner, Moondog Maine. Do you know, 
we spent a couple of weeks wondering who Ray Stevens was going to pick. We figured, we went as far as to figure maybe Andre the Giant, or maybe Dory Funk Jr., or Jack Briscoe, or Pat Patterson. We figured he'd go to the top-ranked wrestlers in the world. Now, I'll admit one thing. There's people with a lot of class, there's people with very little class, and, and there's people with no class. I say Stevens is a low-class person. In the eyes of the wrestling fans here, I'm sure most of them agree with it. But when you pick a guy like Lonnie Maine, a guy who is obviously mentally touched, a guy who chews glass, hits himself with two-by-fours, the guy has got no class, I'm surprised that the National Wrestling Alliance, because they don't have too much class either, putting that match in the Cow Palace against a class wrestling team in the world today, the World Tag Team Champions. We proved to the people we got four or five hundred different ways of beating people. We control our matches, but what are we supposed to do? All the years of training, the, the gymnasium, all the sweat we put, we can, can condemn, can, can compete. I don't like talking about people like Lonnie May because how can you compete against an idiot you don't know what the guy is going to do? Well, I'll agree with you, Carl Von Steiger. He is unpredictable, and uh, there'll be one hell of a match. You Germans have a great record. Of course, of course, you're the champions. What else can you say? But, hey, you're going to have your hands full. All I'm going to say, the Germans are going to come up with something because it's going to be just like the German army rode across the, the plains of Poland when the von Steigers are going to be through with Moondog, Maine, and Ray Stevens. Okay, we'll find out about that. Another big match coming up right after this. Okay, 